I'm thinking maybe the time frame was the reason why they're calling. Oh, got a guy coming here right now. But I noticed the time's off on here. Yeah, the, if we can get them changed, I can give you the times. Okay, that'd be helpful. I'll give you my number. If you got issues, uh, yep. please let me know. I'd like to make it easier. Welcome to the fascinating world of traffic signals. Behind me, we have a school hawk system for this crosswalk. A kid from this high school here needs to cross the road. They can activate the crosswalk and stop traffic when they do so. We have been called out here with the great explanation of saying it's not working. So let's see if we can resolve that issue and see if we can get them working. All right, I'm not 100% sure. I already see the illuminated hand there, so I feel like they have power. If I can get out here and not get ran over, they have the hand as well. I hope I'm at the right flasher, but not too bad. Let's press the button and make sure the lights are working. See, when you hit the button for the crossing, yeah, you can see the yellows flashing like it should be. Got both the reds on that guy. I imagine we got both the reds on this guy as we have the activated crosswalk now. Huh. Maybe it's a different flasher. These flashers are working great. And shout out to K&K Systems out of Tupelo, Mississippi, because that is the company that designed uh, this system, real simple system. It is the flasher system just north of here at the upper elementary. So let's get there. All right, we're pulling up on it. This is the southbound or northbound, but south flasher. They're saying that one's no problem. It's the guy up here. I've worked on these ones a handful of times, but it's been a hot minute. But it's about the same unit that we just installed in Jackson. And we've used them a lot. From, they're from K&K &K as well. Uh, the usual suspects are the batteries or the LEDs. And then rarely the controller. Luckily, let's not get hit by a vehicle, but get pulled right up to this gate. And hopefully we're out of traffic. All righty, this enclosure should have the batteries and everything in it. My battery is just one battery and any kind of power. I wonder if it's because of the bad battery or because of the battery. Let me check voltage. I don't know if I did mess with the southbound. I know I've messed with the with the northbound one not long ago. Yeah, these die hard deep cycle batteries. So it probably got replaced not long ago, but these batteries never hold up as good as uh, the initial one. But I'd like to get power to this guy before changing much. Let's see how many volts we got on the battery because that's really going to tell us. We got 12.9, so I don't see an issue with it. Sometimes these connectors also have issues. Feels like it's seated in there pretty well though. All right, so I halfway think this guy was wired up wrong, but I'm also not getting 12 volts out of here. We're gonna go have lunch real quick and then get back at it, so. All right, so I'm pulling everything off. This is a different solar controller. Uh, to charge the batteries. I think this one, it has a bad output. I keep getting, I mean, obviously the battery ain't hooked up to it anymore, so I ain't really gonna be able to show very well. Uh, but whenever I was checking it, I never read anything over, eh, only a couple volts on it there. But on this guy with the battery hooked up, I am reading a solid 12, 0.9 volts but let me swap some cables up on it and get it swapped out so i at least know what we're working with mm. don't know why they would have the red and the black as your positive Yeah, it's booting up. Relays on. All 
All right, that should have tricked the relay to come on. Okay, flasher's bouncing. That's my meter also beeping at me and telling me to turn it off. Cool. Ah, this guy works. Uh, hopefully already has the exceptions entered into it and it'll already be set up for the school. Uh, school times here at Van Cleve Upper Elementary. Boy, did it just get to the busiest time of the day? But this was the issue here. We had 12 volts in from the charging side. We had over 12 volts on the battery, but the output to this module was only reading about one, one and a half to uh, two volts. Not enough to power any of the unit or anything like that. Wiring was fine. Everything else was fine. Uh, let me find a screw or something to mount this guy. It's gonna look a little ugly. Ha! Y'all thought we were done with work. Joke's on you. We have another school flasher that's having an issue. And I don't know if it's this one or the one down the road. I swapped this battery out a couple years ago and looks like it's still good. Standing on my tailgate. I think this is going to be good. Uh, ooh, 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 a four one one B. Let's see over here if our lights are flashing. They are definitely not. They definitely look old, which I would bet we do. I see this one has the packet where it's good. Off the battery, we're looking at 14.6, which is pretty good. Uh, solar unit, a little over. 19 it seems to be a bit high, but 14.6. And we're getting 14.6 out. Pudding. Uh, now, backwards, how are we getting? I may have turned off that relay to be honest with you. I'm gonna do a A411 B. I should turn on the relay and provide power. Cool if this is just the problem. 12.5. Looks like it's getting power. Or that it just wasn't dim. Because I know that relay is on now and I know it's providing power. Oh. No, this flash is working. There's a cop up there. I don't know their school schedule. Maybe that's why it ain't set up to turn on. All right, let's pull out of this area. This highway is always a pain in the butt to work on too. And then I gotta go past and it's up here. This is up in like Hurley and it's East Central. Maybe not that bad. Yeah, yeah marching band out here. Bro, I was doing 15. That sign just said 45 when flashing. I tell you what, I think I'm gonna go trip the relay or change the step. Dude, she gets it with that hand. I mean, I tell you what, she could probably give a, that was a joke, an inappropriate, not even funny joke. I should be ashamed of myself. Hey, Roger Wicker, you is in it. Mm -mm. Brought to you by is all right back at this weast flasher. No, I'm just getting eastbound flasher. Uh, I want to. I know the relay is on, but I just don't know if that's on because I told it to be on or if it thinks it should be on. It's the time's a little off too in here. Uh, 
So that maybe is the other issue. So we hit A51. It is currently 0, 02. Three, it is not currently 0237. Oh, you know what? It is an AM and a PM thing. So PM is 237, we'll call that. And the date is August 28th. So we got, what month is August? And I said 28th. What year, 25 already? Isn't that really the insane part? All right, so. Now we got 237. That maybe is the reason why if the time wasn't set right. All right, so now we got 246. Let's uh let's review our steps again. So A 20, 22 enter uh, step 1 enter 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 7 a.m. enter 8.15 a.m. Enter. 2 p.m. Enter. And 3.30 p.m. Oh, I'd have been here forever. We're about to go. Zero. Two. So this is always kind of funny. We gotta do two. Four. Let's do 2.49 p.m. Enter. Enter. Ooh, cancel. All right, so at 2.49, it should shut off. And if it does, then I can put it back on the step or open it back up. Yeah, they're bouncing right now, so. Let's check if that's good, then we'll go triple check the time on the other one and make sure it's on the proper, appropriate time. Sometimes these clocks get out of whack. And I really got to pee. I'm gonna do that. Be right back, guys. All right, it's about eight seconds away. Let's see if it turns off. And it's off. So, I'm gonna turn that step back to what it should be. And I think we're good on this guy. I'm thinking maybe the time frame was the reason why they're calling. Oh, got a guy coming here right now. So, he'd actually know. Hi, right, man. Oh, uh, did you know which one they were having issues with? Was it this one? For sure, because that was working when we went by, but I noticed the time's off on here. Yeah, the, if we can get them changed, I can give you the times. Okay, that'd be helpful. It's 7.15 in the morning. Yeah, I think that was already set up how that was. But this one was about 15 minutes behind, so on the, which I already adjusted right there, and I can change those times on it. Has this been the noticeable one that's been off, or the? This one, well, that one comes on, I think, even earlier. Okay. What it's supposed to, which I, I'm not worried about that. Right. You just want to come on when it should yeah. be coming on. I'll double check that one too, make sure the times are good on it. And uh, I'll change both times to what you just told me there, and that should work out. They did have it to seven. Would you prefer seven or 715? Well, seven's fine. Okay. 10 and four. So seven will come on yeah, uh, to 830 or so. And then yeah. 10 and four, man. Uh, you don't do the one in Van Cleve, do you? uh just worked on that one the upper elementary talking about yeah the southbound South, yeah. yeah it was it had a bad uh little charger panel in there i just swapped it out so it should be working tomorrow okay. i'll give you my number if you got issues uh yeah. please let me know i'd like to make it easier getting warm but we got to do a u-turn anyways and flip around and i want to check the time on the other one so uh we're gonna get over here and triple check it before we leave. All right, guys, this guy's obviously on and working. I've worked on this one a while back too, about the same time I worked on the other a couple of years ago. I know the clock's 250. 
So I think that's their issue is just the, the time is wrong on all of this. Uh, so A, get out of here. 51, we're on hour three, zero. Zero, two, two, on date, oh, eight, 28, 25, enter. Now let's double check our steps, even though I'm pretty positive they're on and working. So A, edit, review steps. Step one, enter, 7 a.m. Turns off, 8.15, he wanted 8.30. AM, enter, B, enter. Two o'clock we talked about, right? Two to 3.30? Yeah. 3.30 PM, relay off. All right, so this one's set up looking good. I think, I think we fat fingered whoever came to set up this one. All right, so in my head, I think on the uh, eastbound flasher, somebody fat fingered it, tried to trip the relay, turned off the relay where it just wouldn't read it anymore and pick up the clock to it. So I think we're good on it. And this guy's double checked. It was about 10 minutes off resolve that so this flasher should work like it should now too so yeah that should be it i appreciate the help everybody make sure to show up for work tomorrow actually it's the weekend so don't worry about it i got a couple videos i gotta edit and yeah as always thanks for the help and thanks for watching